Hello guys, Anne Mal, Terence and Gerdev here from Paris and Baz. We're coming to you live from Paris and Baz Real Estate. Terence is joining us from Life Room. Uh, the topic of discussion today for our Paris and Baz cast is home automation and how you can retrospectively fit that in your property. Um, and there's a number of options that we're going to be talking about. So lots of exciting topics to be discussed. Hello to everyone that's coming on. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's start the conversation. Hi right, Terence, uh, thank you for joining us today. So, thank you for having me. No problem. So <laughs> just give us a brief in, uh, introduction about your business. Sure. Yeah. So hi guys, so my name is Terence, I'm from Life Room. So Life Room is in the business of uh, helping property owners to um, add value to their property through use technology. Mm -hmm. um, so home automation, sp uh, specifically wireless home automation mm -hmm. is a type of technology that um, can enhance the property value, mm -hmm. but also very easy to retrofit um, because it is wireless compared to say SIBA systems where you've got to invest in a lot of time and energy to um, actually do all the wiring and yep. stuff like that. And I guess um, the difference is that that's before while the property is being built, so mm -hmm. you can't put that up. Yeah, so with CBUS, you do have to plan everything up front, like mm -hmm. every light switch, every single, you know, motorized blinds, yeah. security system, you've got to plan all of that up front. Yeah. But with wireless um, uh, home automation solutions, yeah. um, you don't need to do that. You can retrofit at any time. Yeah. That's very good, especially with the modern contemporary homes with the flat roofs. Um, the person doesn't have a main hole to get inside the roofs. So Absolutely. I, I think that's a, that's mm -hmm. a good one there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So in terms of um, how similar is it to um, Alexa or Google Home? Um, yeah, so everyone knows about you know Siri, Alexa, Google Homes and things like that. Mm -hmm. Those are just um, home automation through voice control. Mm -hmm. Um, we, when we talk about you know wireless home automation, it's not just about those voice controls. It's the entire system. Yeah. Um, so, for example, our system is using a different type of uh, wi wireless technology. It's not it's not Wi-Fi wi or Bluetooth. Yeah. It's actually called Z-Wave, like as in the letter Z, Z-Wave. Um, it is a protocol that's been designed for home automation because it's like a mesh network. What that means is the the more devices you add the signal actually becomes stronger, mm -hmm. whereas right. if you're using Wi-Fi, the more devices you add, there's range issues, there's mm. speed so, issues and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So so literally, if you're using Z-Wave, mm. it's almost as good as Y, like the, the, the speed and the latency is exactly the same as, um, you know, wired solutions. You don't wow. actually feel any latency at all. Mm. So that's and, the beauty about it. Wow. Mm. And is there any interference with other um, products that maybe not at all? So Z-Wave is actually um, approved by ACMA in Australia mm -hmm. uh, on a specific sort of bandwidth. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's like nine, nine twenty-seven megahertz. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't actually uh, interfere with, say, cordless phones or heart rate monitors and all wow. of those things. So it's yeah. totally, you know, you can't interrupt that that one at all. Okay. And it's fully encrypted, like banking standard encryption. Wow. So wow. no one can hack into it. Yeah. Oh, mm. So that's very inter interesting. So we can retrofit um, when when the house already built yep. um, yep. instead of when the house is under con um, construction. Mm -hmm. um, that's the, that's or either. Thing. So if it's under construction, you can do some pre-planning with yeah. your electrical diagrams and stuff like that. So we know where you're going to have um, light switches, where you're going to have, say, blinds, um, switches and stuff like that. Mm. But if you didn't plan all that up front, you already have an existing home, you want to make it smart, mm. yeah. you can also use our system because it's retrofitable, because it's wireless. Mm. It's literally just adding as opposed to having to plan everything up front. adds value to the house. Mm. Uh, Absolutely. Well. Automation is, a, is the main key. It's the next mm. big mm. thing mm. Yes. these yeah. days. Yes. So tell us about the system. How does it work? Yeah, so, so wireless home automation using Z-Wave, there are lots and lots of different manufacturers. Mm -hmm. So I've just brought one along today called Fabaro, which is a European brand. Yeah. Uh, they've been in the business for about seven to nine years now, roughly around that time. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've got a very mature system. Mm -hmm. So the, the first thing you've got to think about is uh, having a sort of like a, the brain of the house. Mm -hmm. So this here is called the home center, the Fabaro Home Center 2 mm -hmm. is actually the brain of the house. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, it, it has all the features and functionality already built in. Mm -hmm. Um, the next thing then you need to consider is whether you want to control individual things, like for example, light switches and stuff. Mm -hmm. So let's say you want to control lighting, mm -hmm. um, then you just need to add you know, little modules like this. Yeah. Um, and this one here is a lighting module. Mm -hmm. um, and it's basically like be, you can be installed behind the light switch. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you do need a certified electrician to do the installation because you are actually putting live wires and things like that. Yeah. But how it works is the brain, through its antenna, mm -hmm. will then 
communicate with each one of these mm. and they become a transmitter as well so they can also communicate with all its neighboring to build up this mesh network so that yeah. there's no you know speed so issues and a, stuff like that a house mm -hmm. one brain is enough for the whole house yes so absolutely yeah to look for it. so yep. this this whole brain is enough for the whole house yeah even if you have a three-story home you only need one of these well, yeah okay mm -hmm. so unlike uh you know, your Netgear boxes are yeah. for um, internet. You don't yeah. have an extender that you need yeah. for a triple yeah. story house. And even if it is, you've got um, suspended slab, it still penetrates through the yep. signal. Yeah, absolutely box. fine. Um, yeah. Obviously, it doesn't go through concrete wall because it is wireless. Yeah. But because of the fact that it is a mesh network, so if you on the same floor, let's say you've already got other devices, mm. let's say you're going upstairs, mm. as long as you've got another one of these, it adds as a booster already. Yeah, okay. Right? So yeah. it can go through staircases and things like that. So there isn't any issues in terms of, you know, um, range and, range and well, delays well, and things like, like that. Yeah. Correct. And what about in terms of uh, cost efficiency pricing? Um, yeah, um, actually, I, I want to go back to another question you, you just asked about yeah. the difference between Google Home and all that. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. So with voice control, we can actually integrate this with voice control. Right. Okay. Right. So you don't actually, um, you know, it's not like you choose one or the other mm. because this system here can integrate with a lot of your existing um, smart devices that you may already have. Say, for, right. for example, if you've got like these multi-room uh, speaker systems like Sonos, yeah. um, you don't actually need to then go, oh, do I, do I have to buy something in between and things mm. like that. It, out of the box, it supports, um, you know, multimedia um, smart speakers like Sonos. Right. Um, and uh, for uh, out of the box, it supports, you know, Amazon Alexa, mm -hmm. uh, as well as Google Home. Mm. Yeah. Um, but if you want Siri, Siri is slightly different because it's using Apple's HomeKit. Yep. Um, there is sort of like an attachment you can buy mm. that basically acts as a bridge between the two systems so that yeah. you can still use Siri, yep. instructing it to say, turn on the lights in the bedroom. Wow. Um, this will then understand that and then actually, you know, execute that command. Well, wow, there you go. Mm -hmm. So you can voice control your home yep. through that mm -hmm. and through either Google Home, Alexa or Siri. Siri has another module to do that. Yep. And you can basically talk to your, to your house to turn on the lights off and, and is there an app blinds. On the phone where we can yes, so it's yep, yep. So, so yep. firstly, you have the app on the phone. Yep. Secondly, from the, um, from the system, you can log in. And it's not like you need a uh, certified programmer to be able to program all of these things. It's really simple, drag and drop like you know how kids learn how to do programming at school? They use like a drag and drop, like if statement, while yeah. statements and all yeah. that. And then basically just like building blocks that yeah. they do. Yeah. You can use that to create like scenarios. We call scenes yeah. uh, in this system. So for example, if you say between Monday to Friday at a certain time or a certain temperature, mm. uh, I want to pull down the blinds or I want to, you know, turn on the air con, mm. things like that. So yeah. Absolutely that. possible. So you can then you not even use the app. The app is for you to... But basically Manual. choose which room you want to turn on or off or check whether it's currently on or off. Mm. Um, but with the, a scene, it mm. basically executes automatically, Tasks. hence yeah. home automation. Everything just happens automatically. Yeah. Um, and then you, can, you have the voice control as well. It's, everything is magical, yes. Mm. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so yeah. in terms of pricing, this... Pricing is, that, is yeah. very, very good, you know, compared yeah. to, say, uh, wired systems in the past. Mm. You think, you know, you probably have to... Um, uh, Put away like you know fifty hundred thousand dollars just to be able to you know start that process to mm. do the wiring and all the equipment you need and and also getting um, the the sort of certified technicians to come and actually do the programming and all that. Mm -hmm. With this, it starts at the brain. The brain's about twelve hundred dollars, mm -hmm. so that's yeah. all you need. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, one of these modules can control a whole circuit of lighting. Let's say, for example, you've got a light switch, mm -hmm. um, and you want to control. The bedroom lights, and it's just one light switch. You only need one of these. This is this is one hundred and twenty dollars. Mm. Okay. So yeah. if you have four bedrooms, you need four of those. Four That's all. Yeah. Mm. Yep. And one like it's living rooms. I want. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So the more lights you have that you want to control, the more of these you need to buy. Mm. That's the same with the motorized blinds as well. So mm. we have a different module for this, same sort of size and profile, mm. um, but for blinds. And then we've got ones for LED strips. We've got sensors. We've got you know all of those different types of things that you can buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think the major takeout here is if the house is already built and mm -hmm. you want home automation, mm -hmm. it's, it's not too late. Yeah. No, not There's at all. a lot of properties that uh, you know are being built to be sold. Yeah. Um, they normally don't put those extra features because they are quite specific to the family using them. Yeah. So those that are purchasing and coming inside, they have that option to, to do that, which is great. And some owners don't know. 
basically that's it right can mm. be and, and, and the fact that it adds value yeah. that's that's the yeah. most important thing and the fact that it is an easy to use system i think that's the other key takeout mm -hmm. is that you don't have to be a, a scientist to be able to work these out so yeah. once it's installed having these installed obviously you need an electrician for mm -hmm. but any additional modules that you're putting on it is a simple process yeah exactly yeah. what's yeah. more important is uh once you have an app and you've already installed this and you're mm -hmm. thinking if you have guests over or maybe your parents or parents-in-law over they go i don't know how to use the app to turn on the lights just to go to the bathroom or whatever yeah you, all your existing switches still work right. so you can they still can... because it's a retrofit solution yeah you literally still go up to the wall switch and then pressing the button or the toggle yeah and you still activate you still it as per normal like so it's basically like a like a two-way it almost acts like a two-way so that you can yeah. use the, the app to control, mm -hmm. as well as your traditional way of controlling, so it yeah. doesn't alienate anybody and make it scary, scary. for yeah. someone to visit your house and go, I don't know how to use it. Use, <laughs> how do you turn this on? That's a good point, <laughs> actually, because yes. a lot of people mm -hmm. that don't it, adopt technology are afraid of what if, you know, if I break it or if I don't know how to yeah. use it, it's too hard. Exactly. So this is, uh, provides the opportunity there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, I'll just say a quick hello to a few people. We've got Jugal, Deep, Sabine. Uh, hello everyone, we've got someone else saying hello there on Instagram. Can you read who that is? Uh, is that Emil? Uh, there you go. No. Hey. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate that. Do feel free to ask us any questions that you may have. We will have um, the beauty of uh, having Terence in the same building is that we can always... Uh, uh, you know, ask him any questions um, that you know, and easily answer them. So do let us know if there's anything that you're unsure of or you are wanting to know more mm. information about. Mm. Um, also, our office showroom is actually, um, sorry, our office downstairs is actually a showroom as well showroom. with you know the home automation already integrated, so that yeah. if you ever want to, you know, you can uh, yeah, so yeah. we can show yeah. people how it works and stuff like that too. Yeah, mm. okay, so, so, so it's a number level one, office number? Level one, one uh, office number triple one. So triple one, okay, so triple one in the Nexus building, do feel free to come and say hello to Terence and uh, have a look at how this technology works. Uh, so there's a there's a um, uh, area there for that. Um, so in terms of your most popular product, so obviously mm. there's a number of other products that you do as well, but what would you say would be the yeah, we, we look at we look at uh, because we consult with our customers as well in terms of what their needs are. So we came down to maybe three areas that uh, the customers, you know, requirements. Mm. First is security. Mm. Second is comfort, mm. and third is convenience. Mm. Right. In terms of security, of course, you start with the brain. Mm. But we're we're talking about packages in and around maybe um, IP cameras, you know, mm. some cameras around the house mm. for outdoor, indoor, mm. um, some sensors perhaps, you know, for your doors and windows. So when people come in, yeah. uh, security systems and stuff like that. So you can basically become, the back to base is yourself. Rather than going to a back to base system, mm. you can actually log in remotely as well. So when you're on holidays, mm. you can actually launch the app and actually see the video see. camera footage wow. live mm. to see whether anybody's there. You can get alerts and stuff whenever windows have been open during wow. a time when you are whilst you're away. Mm. So you can check check in on your house basically yourself at any time. Of course you can then, you know, if you have an alarm system as well, you can actually trigger the alarm system, the siren to come on mm. and stuff like that. So security is a big part of, you know, I think every homeowner's dream is to make sure that Mm. If they're away or even if whilst they're, they're at work, mm. that the house is nice and secure. Mm. Uh, mm. Second thing would be around uh, also, oh, actually also around security is uh, sensors and stuff like that. Mm. We also have a product called the flood sensor. Mm. So if you stick that underneath, for example, a, a sink um, or a, a bathtub and things like that, and especially elderly, mm. uh, if you've got elderly at home, mm. if you put some sensors around, if there's sort of accidents and stuff like that, mm. you can monitor those things. If it detects water leaks, flooding, wow. all of those things, it will notify you by, you know, like a text wow. message or so, nice. or a notification. Mm. Comfort, of course, is around air conditioning, you know, ceiling fans, mm -hmm. um, about the motorized blinds coming down. If it, let's say today was going, going to be a 35 degree day, mm. you can program to say if it hits 35 mm. from the weather forecast mm. the blinds automatically come down to block off the sun mm. aircon automatically comes on mm. and then you basically have a comfortable home when you arrive home yeah, yeah. Um, and then convenience convenience can be any anywhere between maybe lighting mm. say if you were coming home mm. um, from work you don't want to come home to a really dark house you can't find where the light switches in mm. you know you can actually program it so that as you're coming home some of the you know lights in the garage mm. and the hallway mm. come on 
like in stage lighting fashion. So you can yep. come on a little bit at a time and then a set of them will come on. So it's more inviting, more warm when you come home because lighting becomes a part of the the whole yeah. experience. Mm. experience. Yes. Yeah. So, and I guess something that I'll be interested to know as well as some of the other people may be interested is the fact that the initial programming, because uh, mm -hmm. it sounds like there's a lot of things that you can do, but mm. not everyone has the time to be able to do that according mm -hmm. to, they just want to be able to tell someone, this is what I want. Can mm -hmm. you do it? Do you offer that service as well? Uh, we personally don't offer that service. We'll offer, offer any sort of support uh, things, but we also work with a lot of different installers around Sydney. Yeah. So what that means is, if you are interested in buying the product and you don't know, you know, you want some help in terms of installation, mm. in terms of, um, of course, you know, these things still need a sort of. So we got certified electrician that knows about our products, mm. also know about how to program it as well properly. Yeah. So we can introduce you or refer you to those guys mm. who can help you come out to your home, do a quote, and then. Help do you do it. Well. Yeah. Aftercare customer experience. Yeah, 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 and even teach you how to, you know, maintain it afterwards as well. So you mm. then know exactly, you know, um, how to sort of if you see any problems, you know, you know how what what area um, is that problem, mm. and then they'll be able to, you know. And is there any well. sort of warranty on the? the of system? course, yeah. So it's all Australian, uh, covered by Australian warranty. We mm. say twelve months, but generally speaking, Australian warranty needs to be two years, and that's all absolutely fine. We've had customers contacting us after two years mm. and saying that we've just got a tiny little problem with this. Mm. Um, we're, we're more than happy to just ship out a new one to them. Yep. Um, and then you just you know arrange it to be installed. Yep. So you, it's, it's very easy to find the fault. Let's exactly. say, for example, if you if you if if that's that particular light doesn't come on, mm. it's generally narrowed down to just this. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's a wired system, they have to pull down the wires and yep. navigate around exactly yep. what, what the problem is. Mm. Um, but for us, um, you know, we can basically narrow it down to the specific module yeah. that is causing the error. Mm -hmm. And having said that, because this is a European design and European made product, mm -hmm. um, we don't get a lot of problems at all. Like yeah. it's literally 0.03% failure rate. So wow. it's very, very low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's very good. Okay, so for those that are interested in taking this on, how would you, uh, what's the best process of um, getting that? Is it directly contacting you? Is it yeah, you can have, yeah, you can have a look through our website. Yep. Um, we have all of our products and wireless products on our website, yep. um, which is www.liveroom.com, yep. uh, live room with an E at the end, but you will put that yep, I will. Yep, uh, that will be link, link down below. Yep. Um, and then or giving me a call and basically, you know, we have a team of people that can help you in terms of showing you how it works yep. um, and then go hold your hand through the process so that you don't get lost. Yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, figuring yeah. out the system. Technology, they get a bit I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the ease whatsoever. of it, is mm. how e we can make it easy for the customer. The experience mm -hmm. is definitely yeah. key. Okay, so I guess next steps, um, if you are interested in finding out more, uh, the website, which we'll put in the comments as well, uh, liferoom.com.au is where you can find out more information. Secondly, if you want to see how exactly this technology works, do come in into the showroom, which is on level one. So triple one is the actual suite number and at the Nex Nexus building. We're located at 4 Columbia Court in Norwest, the newly formed suburb of Norwest. So do come and say hello to Terence or to us. We're on level two, so he's on level one. And we're more than happy to answer any other questions that you may have. Thank you very much. I think this is Thank this you. is a wrap. Thank yep. you. Thank no, you thanks too. for having me, guys. No worries. No, it's very exciting indeed. And especially being a technology mm. geek, I love to know more of these things. And I, I can see a lot of uh, applications for a lot of customers. So thank you for that. Uh, let us know if there's any other questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Thank, thank you, guys.